uh, advanced artifacts and bones mixed up with more primitive ones mm -hmm. going back hundreds of millions of years. Mm -hmm. And you also uh, do find a very systematic editing of this record to conform to a linear, progressive, you might call it evolutionary view of things, mm -hmm. which is quite amazing. Mm -hmm. Of course, if, if we have this sort of cyclical, cyclical picture, circular yeah. picture of, of things, uh, much of uh, conventional science will need to be readjusted, and, and naturally, I suppose it's only fair to say that uh, Vedantic thought uh, has many other ideas about the nature of time and space, uh, the, the nature of spiritual dimensions. I, I believe that, that your view of things would be that rather than say that uh, humanity evolved from simple uh, celled creatures that in some sense we rather descended from spiritual planes. Uh, yes, and this is, this is a matter that... Ron in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Ron, how are you? Yeah, good evening. I, uh, I'm just going to make a question here and then hang up and listen. Obviously, your two guests do not believe that we evolved from lower primates. And like, uh, interestingly enough, one of them comes from a, a Judeo-Christian background and one not. Right. Now, my question is, if we did not, then where do you two people feel we did come from? And I'd like some hard evidence of a Garden of Eden. Thank you. Okay. Actually, this is the subject matter of the next book that Richard Thompson and I are working on. We call it Human Devolution uh, because from the evidence that we can see, it appears that if our origin is not on this planet, we did not evolve from apes on this planet. We come from a higher spiritual dimension of reality. Um, there is creation involved. You know, we have a relation with a, a supreme spiritual being, and that is what the actual evidence suggests. Now, to make a, a scientific case for that, uh, we have to, first of all, show that there is more to reality. There is more to the human essence than just atoms, just chemistry. Uh, now, this is a, another whole subject, and it took eight years for us to do the research for the hidden history of the human race, and we wanted to do all that research so we could make a convincing case, and we're now in the process of making such a convincing case for... Uh, human beings as being ultimately spiritual in origin and we intend to make a very convincing case for that in our next book all the evidence suggests that human beings as we know them did not originate on this planet but have come to this earth from other dimensions this network special will follow the efforts of a new breed of scientists who are courageously revealing a vast body of hidden knowledge. Carved stones, ancient statues, and human artifacts have been ignored by the academic establishment to protect their long-held theories of human origins. But should this evidence be allowed to speak for itself, the history of man on this planet may never be the same again.